The Elga and Palkia are coming to Scarlet and Violet in raids today, and I'm going to show you all the Pokemon you want to bring with you to make sure you can take them down, no problem. We have a lot to talk about, so let's dive in. Alright, so we can see on the Pokemon homepage, challenge Dialga and Palkia now, and uh, we certainly intend to do that. So as you guys can see, according to the website here, they are going to be showing up in 5-star raids. So luckily, they're not 7-star raids, they are going to be a little bit easier to beat. They're not going to have a special mark or anything, but they are still Dialga and Palkia, which certainly isn't bad. Now based on what it says here, we do know they are going to be dragon type. They did show that in the image here for their terra type, but... You know, in the past, with a lot of 5-star raids, that can change, but apparently it says right here, they are going to be Dragon-type as their Terra-type. So that's much easier for us to prepare against them, and we can have some strategies that are a bit more catered to actually taking these down. Now that being said, they are going to be starting today, December 7th, at about 4pm PST or 7pm EST. Uh, UTC, that's about midnight if I'm not mistaken. Overall, not a bad time if you are in the US to be able to catch these. And it is going to go until December 21st. That's also when the Dark Ride distribution is going to end as well. I'm going to link that ahead now. So make sure you take care of that in addition to getting both of these mods. Now on top of that, these are version exclusive. So Dialga is only going to show up in Pokemon Scarlet. And uh, Palkia is only going to show up in Pokemon Violet. But the good news is they do say here, you can go ahead and go into your online raids and jump into other people's games, you know, and do raids with them. So you're not going to have to worry about missing out on one because you don't have both games. But now that being said, we know what we're up against. Let's see what Pokemon I think are going to make it very easy for you to take these down. All right, so to nobody's surprise, we are going to be starting off with Azumarill. It is water and fairy, so it is excellent here. It is going to be immune to all the dragon type attacks, which is going to be their strongest attack. And it also is water, so it can resist Palkia's water type moves as well. They both can have some other moves, like Dialga can have Thunderbolts. So just kind of keep an eye out for that, but... Other than that, this should be a really good mod to bring. Move-wise here, we're just going to be using Belly Drum with Play Rough. I kind of think that's really the only moves you're going to need. Especially with these not being 7-star raids, you should be able to take them out, again, pretty easily. Uh, we also have Amnesia and Light Screen to finish off the set if you do need them. It's mainly there if Dialga somehow is able to do a ton of damage with Thunderbolt to you. I'm not too worried about it, but it's an option you have. In terms of our stats, we are adamant with max HP and max attack. You want to make sure your HP is an even number. Uh, the only reason you want to make sure of that is so when you go down to half health, you will activate your Citrus Berry. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty self-explanatory. But if you don't want to use Azumarill, we do have some other options. Let's take a look at those. Another Pokemon who's going to do very well here is going to be Fluttermane. It's not resistant to water type attacks, but it does have a very high special defense. I think it's 135 base, which is the same as the special attack, which is pretty darn good. And it's also fairy type, so it will be immune to those dragon type attacks. Now, for the moves itself, it does have Calm Mind with Moonblast. Again, pretty self explanatory. You're going to want to Calm Mind maybe one or two times. You're not going to have to go crazy and get all the way to plus six. You're not going to need it, especially not being a seven star raid. But just, you know, keep in mind that you want to get a couple up to make sure you take less damage because even though its uh, special defense is pretty good, Fluttermane's HP is quite bad. So you just want to keep that in mind. I rounded off the set with Fake Tears and Substitute. Fake Tears are there to drop the opponent's special defense to make your Moon Blast a little more strong if you need it. You know, again, with Calm Mind, you should be able to get there already. I also decided to put Substitute on here. It'll protect you if you want to have it for uh, setting up. They're not going to be able to KO it, I think, or break it on the first hit, so you should be okay. But if you just want a little more protection, you have it available. As far as the EVs, you want a maxed out HP and a maxed out special attack with a modest nature if possible. Uh, again, pretty self-explanatory, we just want to live as long as possible, we're making up for its very poor HP, and we want to give it some pretty good firepower as well. But let's say you want to use something else. Well, no problem. We also have Pheasantipity. It's obviously the newest Pokemon on this list, and it hasn't been used too much yet, but I think here it's kind of uniquely qualified to do a lot of damage. It's Poison and Fairy, so it's Fairy, so we're not going to have to worry about those Dragon-type attacks. It also has slightly less special defense, it's 125. But it does have significantly more HP, I think 30 more than Fluttermane. So it's going to serve kind of a similar role in that regard. As far as its moves, it's going to be doing Swords Dance and Play Rough. Uh, its attack is higher than its special attack. If you wanted to use a Calm Mind set with Moonblast, you can do that too. But I'm pretty happy with this con particular configuration just because it should be able to do a little bit more damage to the other Pokemon, which is what we want. I added Light Screen and Substitute here for pretty much the same reason as Fluttermane. If you feel like you need a little more protection against their moves, you have it. If not, don't worry about it. And as far as our EV distribution, we have max HP and max attack with an adamant nature. Again, if you're not adamant, it's not the end of the world, but you do want all those EVs there if you can get them, just because the extra firepower really does help out. But if you're really worried about it and want a lot more firepower, 
We got you covered. We can also use Zacian for this match. Uh, I did give it the Rusted Sword, so you are going to become Zacian Crowned. Obviously, you already have a colossally high attack, and you're going to get that stat boost when it does come in and start the battle. So it is going to be a ridiculously high attack, and it is going to be a fairy type, so you will be able to do a lot of damage to both Pokemon. For its moves, we have Swords Dance, because even after one more Swords Dance, you'll be at plus three. So you can do just so much damage with just that, and it should be enough to take out either of the dragons, probably by itself. We're going to be using Play Rough as our primary attacking move. It's just the strongest fairy physical move. It's great. Uh, I went with Snarl here. If you feel like you need a little more protection, kind of like the other moves we talked about, you can use it against them. It'll drop their special attack by one, which is pretty considerable given how this raid is going to pan out. And I also went with Substitute for the same reasons we talked about previously. Uh, you're not going to be able to recover your HP naturally because you don't have leftovers, but you are going to want to go ahead and use uh, your you know cheer for healing kind of thing. So you can recover some HP that way. And you can sit behind it and Swords Dance or Snarl, whatever you'd like to do. Max HP, max attack rounding out this set. I don't really think I need to explain why. And, you know, if you feel like you still need more firepower than this, we have Arceus Fairy. So it is going to be an Arceus holding a Pixie Plate, so it becomes that form. And it is going to be, obviously, one of the strongest Pokemon you can have because all of its stats are 120. As far as the move selection, we are going to be using Calm Mind with Judgment. Uh, it is its strongest fairy type move by a lot, and to kind of help round that out on top of the Calm Mind, we also have Acid Spray. That reduces the dragon's uh, special defense down by 2, so it'll make your judgments just that much more strong. Max HP, max special attack with a modest nature are rounding out this set. And between all five of these, you should have no problem finding a Pokemon that can take out both these dragons. Really no problem at all. So again, it is Zumeril, uh, Fluttermane, Pheasantipity, Zacian, and Arceus. I am going to put a Poke Paste for all five of these Pokemon with their held items, all that good stuff down in the description below so you have it available and you can use it kind of as a template to get your own pokemon together for the raids tonight but there you go guys those are the pokemon that i think you should absolutely bring with you tonight when the dialga and palkia raids start and you should be able to add both of them to your collection pretty quickly and just as a reminder it does go live tonight december 7th at uh 7 p.m eastern time or 4 p.m pacific so don't miss out but that being said guys i hope you found the video helpful and i hope you're able to use it to add both these awesome pokemon to your collection and if you did enjoy it, please make sure that you Giga Impact that like button in the face and consider subscribing because as we are growing as a channel, that kind of stuff really helps us out. But other than that, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope each and every one of you have a happy, epic, awesome, and amazing day. And I will see you in the Teal Mask. See you around. Bye-bye. <laughs>